Design Preservation Models is proud to bring you this step-by-step -step video filmed at the Model Railroading University and produced by Master Model Railroader and owner Miles Hale. Miles will show you how to assemble and paint DPM building kits. In addition, you will learn various tips and techniques on detailing your buildings, including weathering, windows, shades, and much more. Miles is a renowned trainer and demonstrator of Woodland Scenics model scenery and DPM buildings. Hello, my name is Miles Hale. I'm with Model Railroad University, and we're here to talk today about building DPM kits, N-Scale, HO, and O-Scale. The techniques we're going to show you essentially apply to all three scales, and all of the buildings go together in exactly the same way. The only exception are the O-Scale kits, which are resin and require an epoxy uh, cement to put them together, and we'll go over that towards the end of the video. One of the first things that you learn when you come to Model Rover University is our lesson we call scale. And it simply applies with these two little pieces here. If you walked into the hobby shop, they would be labeled on the shelves. And why don't you take a quick look at them and see what you think they might be used for. You'd probably say that these are in scale bridge sides. And you're right by the manufacturer. Atlas labels on the side of their box in scale truss bridge sides. But in actuality, the first time that I ever saw them, they were hanging from an O scale engine house as roof trusses. And I've also seen them used in N scale where a really heavy uh, bridge side is needed. So, what scale are these? They're whatever scale you need them to be for your railroad and whatever they look like they could be applicable to on your railroad. So, do they have scale? Yes but only in and of themselves. How they relate to your railroad will be determined by you. So next time you walk into the hobby shop, look around some of the other scale aisles and see what they have to offer. Because detail parts and other parts that you're going to use around your railroad may not be exactly the scale that the manufacturer says you ought to be using them for.